Now, we just discussed diffusion flux, but we also have convective flux. So there's two kinds, diffusion flux and convective flux. Okay? Combined flux equal to diffusion flux plus convective flux. I can also write down convective flux to be CA V star in Z direction. Okay? I know that JA is going up. NA, what about NA? NAC, that's combined flux. Is it going up or going down? It's going up. Actually, we're not sure yet. We have not see it yet. What about this term? The convective flux, does it go up or does it go down? How can we determine it? First, in this term combined, this is the flux. The CA part is scalar. So direction of this flux is determined based on direction of vector V Z star, right? So in order to see V, st v Z star, whether it goes up or goes down, you need to look from this relationship. Last week, I told you that we have three different confusing terms. CA VC star, CA VA, and C VC star. Right? This one is convective flux. This one is combined flux of A. This one is combined flux of all species. Okay? So combined flux of all species is sigma ni. So sigma ni, from this case for binary system, you have na plus nb. If you combine in z direction, you have naz plus nbz. It's equal to z vz star. Okay. Now, direction of NA actually determine direction of VC star simply because NBC is zero. All right. So, is it going up? According to your common sense, it's going up. Why? Because NAZ by physical meanings is the net evaporation rate. So when you look at NAZ, it means like when you stand out from the system, from stationary point, and look into the system, whether mole of A is moving up. And since you know that A is evaporated continuously, so therefore flux of A is supposed to go up. So NAZ is going up. C here is scalar, so it's, it does not participate in direction at all. So that means VC star supposed to go up. So in this picture, I think I need to expand it. So in this picture, we know that VC star is going upward. In other words, VC star is positive number. Does VC star change with respect to Z? Does it change with respect to position? When you look from this relationship, NBZ is zero. 
NAC is going up, but it is constant. How do I know whether it's constant or not? This comes from shear balance. Remember, we have got NAC, DNAC by DC equal to zero before. So it is constant, okay? C here is already determined by ideal gas law to be P over RT. It's also constant. So therefore, VZ star is supposed to be constant as well. So VC star down here and up there are equal. All right? So if you look for A, at first we know that down here has high XA. High XA means high CA as well. Why? Because CA is equal to C times XA. And C is constant. XA here is high, so therefore CA is high. Up here you have low XA, that means you will have low CA. And then convection part is CA times VC star. VC star is constant and CA star, CA is high here. So that means CA VC star or convective part of A should go very high down the bottom and it goes short down here. Okay? So once again, this one going up, diffusion flux goes up, convective flux goes up. So combined flux goes up. When you look at the bottom, diffusion flux is small. Convective flux is large. When you add them up, you get one value. Up here, this one, small, this one is large, this one small. When you add them up, you get same number again. Why? Because these two blue vectors combine, you get NAZ. NAZ down here and NAZ down there are supposed to be equal in size. Okay? What about convective flux of B? NBZ is equal to JBZ star plus CB VZ star. Okay? We know that NBZ is zero. JBZ is going down. We already determined that. So therefore, in order to keep this one zero, this vector is supposed to go up so that they cancel out all the time. Also, we already determined that VC star is going up. So it is consistent, this one goes up. Okay? On the other hand, you see that magnitude of convective part of B supposed to be equal to magnitude of diffusion flux of B as well, all the time. So if you have diffusion flux of B, to be small down here. Convective part of B is supposed to be small as well. So that these two will always cancel out. Up here, you have high C, B, V, C star. So that these two would always cancel out. Also, you can also say that since V, C star is going up and constant, but you have High XA down here, that means you will have low XA. Low XA means low CA because, I'm sorry, XB, CB. Because CB is C times XB. So this one is low multiplied by the size of this V star, supposed to be short. Okay? So you get the whole picture 
diffusion flux of A, diffusion flux of B, convective flux of A, convective flux of B, combined flux of A, and then combined flux of B becomes zero at all time. Okay? So I will let you digest it just a moment so that you understand the whole system. I think this is very important because by the number itself, you may not understand the whole physical meaning of diffusion term and convective term. What does it mean? Any question at the moment? Now, if you do not have any question, let me ask you a question. I have one for you guys. If you look for the system like this, when you have evaporation of water from the bottom, do we have convection? Is there any convection in our system? Remember, in our system here, we do not force the flow. We have never put any force so that the fluid moves. Okay? But the question would be whether or not we have convection. Do we have convection? <coughs> 